Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG, I am Sovereign and today we're going to be looking at some of my favourite base locations on the western side of the map. By the western side of the map I do mean this area over here, everything on this side of the map over here. There are some other locations that I did I wanted to add in here but I wasn't going to add them into this particular video. But if there is any locations let me know down below in the comments and I'll check those areas out in case I do miss them because it's just me as I'm travelling around the map and I'm seeing locations and writing them down. As you can see over here we have uh, the waterfall based locations which we'll be talking about in this video. If you want to see me build in any of these locations, please let me know down in the comments and I will make a build for these areas. I do love building bases and I do love sort of incorporating it into the landscape rather than doing it in a more sort of like PvP side of things. Now there is some of these locations that will be good for PvP so make sure that if you want to see that as well I will mention that in the video and why they're good for those areas. So let's get into it. Now this base location is located here on the map. It is just to the southwest of the ancient pyramid and southeast of the copper ore mines that come along the south here near the barbarian barracks. Now this place I like it for one of two reasons. Number one I love building on water i can build villages on water and it's got a quite a large central uh bit of land right in the middle of the lake and now you have different places above to build on high ground if you decide to but it's almost a perfect circle all the way around so you can place your uh, your bonfire right in the middle here and build outwards from this direction now there are crocodiles and there are as you can see while i'm getting chewed on by piranhas there are piranhas in this water so you can actually later on in the game um build up to have fishing going on in here and get your fisheries all sorted but this area looks really nice there's a big arch over that side and it's got lots of elevated positions if you wanted to sort of rp some towers now this could be a decent location for pvp but this is more for a pve based location and i might actually do a project here at some point let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see now this location is on a map right close to where we had the possible base location in the last one it's just to the southwest of the ancient pyramid and you do have a lot of space on either side to be able to build off now there's some ideas that i'd have for a place like this to have the village going up like from the coast down here and going up and building along the cliff edges and building along the edges here and then you can go inside of the cave over here then we just jump on the mount and you have this whole area kind of covered so you can have a water slash cliff side kind of base area and it is really nice as you can see you can place these foundations down inside here that's not an issue there's no limitations even though there is a place above here that you can do it but this goes all the way inside and you can build in any of these locations here and then at the end there is actually this very nice view if you climb up to here we have this giant actual waterfall going all the way down and what you can actually do here is build all the way across the waterfall so you can have your base growing outwards if you do the circular shape you can do the hexagon all the way out you will have to do a decent amount of pillars and you will have to build stairs to get there but it is a ramp down over this way to get into the higher areas if you come out around here and over this side you can then go into the higher areas over here just by this crossing and you have the, the saber tooth spawn right there with also having holy ruins and a few ancient ruins dotted around and the barbarian barrack for the flint tribe straight across there. It's a pretty decent location. You do have to travel a little bit. There's copper ore there, but a lots of other ore. You've got nitre ore over this side. You will have to build teleporters because this is quite far from the other side of the map where you have all of the other locations grabbing the meteor ore, etc. And the phosphory ore getting the iron ore etc but you can get these also in the holy ruins you can get the iron if you're iron level in the ancient ruins down the river it doesn't take that long once you have your jaguar mount so this is definitely a really really nice beautiful location for you to build your pve base on now this next base location is located here on the map it's just across from where the waterfall base was and just down from where we talked about the lagoon river like the river so a lake base now this base is straight up cliff walls like full all the way up this is more for those people that want to create a mountain tribe type feel 
and there's an opportunity i'll show you here that you can build anywhere in this location it's not an issue there are some nodes around here for copper as well that i did notice earlier we got some copper nodes over here and we got some other nodes and we have ways that you can sort of build up now what you want to do is you're going to build stairs up and you can build pillars down and then start building out from there you can also build across and have like sort of the normal stuff that you have building over here and then you can build a bridge with pillars going down over to a flat piece where you can have your sort of chieftain's hut where your teleporter could be and any sort of idea is like that now if you'd like me to build something here please let me know down in the comments i will do that uh, i want to build in all different kinds of locations and see what we can make out of it but for me this is a really really nice place it's one of my favorite ones of the top five that we have here and it was definitely something that i think we can get something really really cool out of i really love the fact that i want to try this one as i said let me down in the comments if you want to see if we can have a go we have the locations for some ancient ruins you have the holy ruins you're right next to the saber tooth pyramid again and we're right next to the barracks and you kill can build bridges straight across and put multiple bonfires across so you can be covered there are anacondas here as you can see i did murder one but you can build across and build up and you can build all the way to the top of the cliff and you can have access to the higher tier level areas now this location is located here on the map it's just across from the ancient ruins in the middle over there in the middle of the river and now there's several different things you can do with this location there is a way up on the far end where you can build along here and just have your starting along here and then you can build bridges over to this side that I'm on here where we have a kind of overhanging cave look where we can build into the area over here and you can place everything down as you can see. We can place it in the area, you can place it on top of that platform over there. We can sort of build your chieftain's hut and you can build over here and build onto this side. There will You will have to build down with some stairs and ramps or you can just have it going over that location over that way it's just another location where it's elevated ground you can build off and have some fishing huts over here you can build up and around and down or just build across purely in the air now this is one of the best base locations for pvp as well over on this place over here you can build out and you can build the siege towers uh, the arrow towers and stuff and traps etc so that is a really good area over there you have a lot of flat land and this is somewhere i think i can build something that really looks cool building into the rocks over here and have it sort of hut building along here and etc etc i think this is something we can do if you want let me if you want me to build in this area to try and decide what i want to do in this area please let me know down in the comments as always i'm willing to try everything out and i really do love the building aspects of survival games so there is that now last but not least we have my base location it's one of my favorite places in the game currently you have massively beautiful views with the pyramid over there in the background up the top there and you have a long river with islands going through you got a big island island in the middle with a rock that you can work on if you wanted to play over there if you wanted to build from the directly in the island and build out from there or you can build out from the coast alongside here there's a lot of good locations around this area you've got tin mines copper mines etc you can go straight across the river and end up at the frog pyramid the eight pyramid sorry you've got the frog pyramid just over in the other direction you've got you're right in the middle of the first three you've got the saber tooth you've got the ape and you've got the fog frog over here you've got all the locations for your tin ore iron ore coal ore salt ore everything is in a sort of an in and around you you have several locations as well you've got the jaguar cub spawn right here which is a definite spawn 100 you've got a tin ore mine just across from you you've got ancient ruins you've got a dungeon you can farm for your iron ore going inside of there and killing the slayer in there etc and all of the mechanical guys to get your iron metal stuff that you can break down in the blast furnace you've got elite bear spawns you've got elite alligator alligators to get your heads etc there's an elite alligator over here as well you got flint tribe scout locations ancient ruins over here where you can farm all of your copper ingots if you're at that level so you can build from here and grow this whole area here there is the two ancient ruins on here so you've got to be careful where you build you can build in the middle of this island and you can build on this full island over here even if you go a little bit further down the river from this location which we can see over here bop, we can head down and look past the base a little bit there uh, i have to go out into the bloody river so i can see because there's trees everything in the bloody ray there's an actual location where there's a a sort of land bridge straight up get out of 
bloody way grass. There's a land bridge which has a flat area on both sides or you could build just on the land bridge itself. That was going to be in one of the locations I put there but I wanted to put my base location because I do really love this area. It is really really nice and it's very strategic in the way you're placing it. It's definitely one of the best PvE locations in the game especially for early game mid game. You will have to put some teleporters for the high tier gear but you can stay here for the entire journey and just build from here. So for the end of the video I did want to update what we have inside of the base right now. I did make some changes because people were uh, talking about how like the bonfire keeps going out yeah it did keep going out so i ended up building this kind of contraption here oh sure we'll get to an elevated position where we built in the middle a sort of like pagoda type thing where i actually think it looks kind of cool let me know what you'd think down below what you think of this pagoda it's got like a centralized bit where it looks like it's got some circular motion in there and we got all of the stairs around with our bonfire in the middle. And we have our teleporter now in place. So there is that as well. I did just get, actually just got two of the, where is it? Not in the mask decor, went into the wrong one. I did get two of the heads just now, the fierce set and the berserk tape, uh, the berserk head. So we now have those as well. And I did like, I killed them once each time. We've got some rare beast blood and all that kind of thing. Uh, I didn't get into getting the second key box because the second key box uh, wasn't respawned by then. So we were able to craft this now special mask. Let me just uh, do that. Since we got the head, we we're able to craft this and I will be crafting the uh, saber tooth armor because I have enough to do that now and I have it unlocked. If we go into the turret, because we killed the berserk one, we now have the first set of armor where you can use, uh, when, you, when you craft this, you actually have to uh, use a piece. So you can always use this as kind of a skin and then it takes the stats of the armor that you're creating and adds a little bit of an adjustment to it with the set stat piece bonuses. I will be doing a video on a saber tooth set to make it look good. I'm not gonna put this mask on for just now. We'll take that off. But yeah, there's my five favorite base locations on the western side of the map. I will be doing base location videos for each area. Uh, and when I find them as I'm traveling around, I find a spot that I think that I can get a good idea of what I want to build. I will do that. And obviously in the comments, let me know down below. Each time you want to uh, see me build in a location that I do on there, write it in the comments. Let me know and we'll sort that out. I'll start to build in those locations and see if we can get something cool looking. Right, I want to thank you all for watching. This is Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.